December. Led by Commander Mark Polanski, the seven-member crew took part in the Terminal Countdown Demonstration Test, a milestone for every space shuttle mission. As always, the highlight of the three-day exercise was a full-dress rehearsal of the countdown that had both the look and feel of the real thing. On the mock launch day, crew members awakened and sat down together to the typical pre-launch meal before they were helped into their bright orange launch and landing suits. They walked to the awaiting silver Astrovan for the 20-minute ride to launch pad 39B where the White Room's closeout crew strapped them into the orbiter. Once the astronauts were in place, the NASA launch director in the nearby launch control center led the crew and launch team through a rehearsal of the final countdown hours. Earlier in the week's activities, the astronauts participated in a slate of training exercises that centered on safety. The crew learned how to escape from the launch pad using slide wire baskets that can whisk them to a nearby bunker in the unlikely event of an emergency at the pad on launch day. They practiced driving M113 armored personnel carriers, the small tanks they would use to drive safely away from the launch pad if necessary. The crew also got time to check the payload and equipment for the mission. With their training and launch rehearsal completed, the STS-116 astronauts left Kennedy, returning to their home base in Houston to continue training for the real countdown in December. Back now with live view of Space Shuttle Discovery, launch pad 39B at the Kennedy Space Center. And again, we are currently standing by to receive live TV.